Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to In the Greenhouse with Orchid Supply Store. Today I'll be your host. I'm Ken. I think we've met once before. But we're going to do something uh, a little different. I try to, to switch it up and make things as exciting as I can. Uh, I'm going to give you a, a quick tour of the greenhouse and point out a few things that some of you may or may not have seen before. Uh, and then let's do another giveaway. I think everyone enjoyed that. Let's, uh, let's make this one a weekly giveaway. So starting now, and it'll end next Friday, and then every week for the month of May, let's give away a Philodoxus. Uh, I've got some that are uh, no name. I have no tag on them. Uh, I purchased these uh, when they were in bloom uh, for my wife. And they're no longer in bloom, but they're very healthy Philodoxus. I just don't have a tag on them, so I, I don't remember what color they are. So we'll give those away, one each week, and uh, that way it'll be a total surprise. Uh, all you have to do, subscribe to the channel, enter a comment that just your name or, hey, I want to win or, or anything, just a comment, and that's all it takes. And do that every week, you know, because the more times you leave comments, the more entries you will have, and the better chance you'll have to win. So we'll do that starting as soon as I can get this video loaded, and it will end next Friday. Today is May the 5th, Friday, so it will end one week from today, and as soon as it ends, we'll start another one. And we'll do this every week for the week for the month of May. And I don't know how the weather is at, around your place, but man, has it been crazy here. Uh, today is May the 5th, and it's a balmy 55 degrees outside. It's been getting down to the 40s at night, and some days it'll be up to 85. So we have no guess what to wear because you're either going to be too hot or too cold, and it's, it's just crazy. Um, I, I try to plant a small garden each year. This year, I haven't done anything yet because it's, it's too cold. You know, the, the plants would die. Uh, it, it's gardens, at least here in Georgia, you know, don't do very well until the night temperature stays at around 70 degrees. Uh, and, and then everything works. Um, so, uh, with that little bit of weather, why don't I, uh, I'll grab the camera and we'll do a, a quick walk around. And then uh, after that, why don't we repot some things? I think I have some, uh, some uh, fern and uh, we'll repot those and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, as I said, we're gonna have a quick tour through the greenhouse. I don't really have anything in bloom right now. Uh, if I do, I guess I've missed it, but I just don't have anything. Yeah, every, the little bit that I had has come and gone. Uh, my spider plants are really looking nice. You know, they, they've put off babies, and I've, I've, I've cut those off, and I've replanted them. But uh, all of the, the orchids, they're just sitting there and growing, growing leaves or growing roots. All of them seem to be doing well. So, get a... Shot back behind there. Still have this spider plant on a mount. This fern is on a swinging mount and seems to love it. And I've got a uh, Dendrobium agrecan, uh, I think that's what you said, on this one. And as you can see by the roots, just really likes to be mounted on a piece of wood. Over in the back here, I have a few mounts, various orchids, yeah, mounted on different pieces of of wood.
Continue with the sweep of the orchids. And of course I've got these that I mounted in a shell. Very unique. And it looks like the orchids even like the shells. As you can see here, this one is just grabbing on, putting out new roots, so it seems to love it. And finally, on my mount wall, This one dendrobium here has absolutely astonished me. It has grown up, it has grown down, it has grown out to the side. It just can't make its mind up which way it wants to go. But it hasn't bloomed yet. And this philodendrum, uh, uh, philodendrum. <laughs> yeah, this philodendrum here, uh, th this one had a spike on it that went, oh, it was probably three feet long. And the blooms lasted, oh, months and months. Oh, well, let me swing back around here. Sorry, didn't mean to make you dizzy swinging around like that. So this is what's on the bottom. I can actually hear it here today. Because it's so cool, I have no fans running, except I have one small ventilation fan. Oh, we've got something there in bloom. So these are really doing well. Okay, then back over here. Okay, here's some of my spider plants, you know, that have put off babies. I set them up on the top here. A lot of dendrobiums right here. Oh, I've got one in bloom. I didn't even know that. One right there. It's like a mini dendrobium. All of these are Grecums. Uh, so, I want to keep one or two of these for myself to see how they look you know, when they're in full bloom. And then up on the top shelf, Again, I'll make this real quick because there's, oh, I've got another one there. A dendrobium in bloom. These jokers surprise me, you know. Every time you turn around, a new one is blooming. And I think I have given a, a tour of the greenhouse before, but it, the, the way I've got it set up, everything is automatic. I have one ventilation fan here on the ceiling, yeah, controlled by the temperature. And in the back, there are two ventilation fans on either side, one here and one over there. These are controlled by the temperature. When these open, the shutters on the front of the greenhouse open. So I get a, a, a flow from the open shutters through to the big fans in the back. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really making you dizzy here. I've, I've never liked anybody to do that. And then I have another ventilation fan here blowing in the opposite direction of the first one. Of course, everything, all of the water you know, is, is uh, on the top you know, with misters and open uh, valves to to to, uh, to uh, water everything had a philodendrum here i keep saying philodendrum i don't have any philodendrums you know what i mean got a couple of they're still in bloom these are the ones we're going to give away <laughs> your choice of a philodendrum <laughs> no you're going to get a philonopsis. It's as bad as the staghorn, leghorn, fern. I know what I want to say, but my mouth just won't say it. Uh, now, in addition to the fans, 
I also have an air conditioner that, of course, is temperature controlled. It comes out at the air conditioner, but it also has vents that run the length of the greenhouse. And then we'll come back over to the Vandas. And underneath the Vandas, I don't know if I've ever showed you this, I have some hosta and lyropy. All of this is, some people say lyrope. I've always said lyropy, so I may be wrong. And, and then, of course, the Vandas. And way in the back, I hope you can see it, I have some more of those ferns that are potted in the black plastic bag. A few more spider plants here, some leftover cactus, and these pots are planted with hosta seed. Takes months and months for them to germinate. But once they do germinate, they look like this. Let me swing back over here once again. These are hosta that I planted seed. I just wanted to see if it would work, and sure enough, it does. So, that's the tour of the greenhouse. And I, I, I do have like three new vandas and one or two new cattleyas or uh, maybe a dendrobium. I don't have many new ones. I got a shipment in last week. Uh, for the most part, it was just a duplicate of what I already had. Oh, I've got one blooming there. That's a comet. And, and that one, I, I put one in the house for my wife, and it stayed in bloom. Well, it's still in bloom. Uh, she's had it in there for... I know six weeks, maybe eight weeks, it's still in bloom. So I have never had any of these before, so this was a new one for me. But uh, it's, it's a small bloom, but it stays in bloom forever. But as I was getting ready to say, I do have three new Vanda, and I've got, I don't know, half a dozen new Cattleya types. Uh, at, at somewhere in this video, probably at the end of this segment, I'll put those blooms in so that you can see those. So this is the, the greenhouse.
Okay, I have a couple, or four actually, of fern, and we're going to repot these into a slot basket, a wooden basket. Uh, you can put these in the uh, plastic baskets, uh, which I have done, and I may have showed you. Um, normally, I am not a big fan of using moss uh, in my repotting, but in this case, I'm going to because the fern like to stay rather moist. So I'm going to put some fern in the bottom of my basket. And also, my basket has big holes in it, so I don't want the bark to fall out. So I'm going to put a little bit of bark to start with. And then we'll take this fern, take it out of the pot, And I like to break up the compacted soil around the fern just to give the roots a little better start. So that's going to sit right there on top. And then I'll fill it in with some bark. So it's, it's got moss on the bottom and bark around the sides. So this fern should be happy in its new environment. And then these baskets have hooks on the side or, or places to put a, a mountain wire. And so I will probably put wires on these and hang them. So that's one. And uh, a lot of people like to dampen their moss before they use it, you know, which is fine. It's perfectly okay. In this particular case, I chose not to. But if you want to dampen it first, that's certainly no problem. It works well either way you want to do it. So we'll take the next one. Open up the roots just a little. Sit it in its new home. Fill in with the bark. So simple, even a child could do it. I'll be willing to bet that even Paula at Hillbilly Orchids could do this. She does a good job there. I hope all of you watch her videos. Yeah, she, she's a good girl. I, I really like working with Paula. So there's that one. And did I lose my control? No. There it is. I don't want you to have to sit and watch me do each and every one of these. So with the magic of videos, we'll come back when I get the others. Okay, so got all of the ferns repot it into a basket, and I had a couple left, so I said I'm going to put some Vandas. I normally don't put the Vandas in the wooden baskets. I'll, I'll put them in the, the black plastic basket, but this case, I said these are going to look nice, and uh, so we'll try it here. These are some new ones that I got in that are not listed yet, but they will be. This one is, yeah, it is. It's a Vanda Janice Allison crossed with a Wyo Christius Spellus, I think. I slaughter these names. Anybody should not name their Vandas like that. And the second one, hey, I can read this one. This is a Vanda Spotted Sunshine. So it's going in the basket. And because I've already got moss and a little bit of bark in the bottom. I'm not going to try to feed the roots through it. I'm just going to let them hang over the side. Fill in around the edges. And this one will be ready to hang. It. 
in a few weeks. These roots are just going to be going crazy and hanging over the edge, and we'll get another look at them at that point. Okay, so I had uh, two Vandas that I put in baskets, had the staghorn fern that I put in baskets, and I guess that will be it for the repotting today. Uh, I just happened to think, you know, staghorn fern. I don't know why, but for some reason, every time I start to say staghorn fern, I almost say leghorn foghorn. Now, I may be telling my age there, but back at the infancy of TV, there was a cartoon about a rooster and a small chicken hawk. And I, I may be remembering this wrong, I'm not sure. But I think the name of the rooster was Leghorn Foghorn. And he was all, he was like the Wally Coyote. He could never do anything right. But just in my mixed up mind, every time I start to say Staghorn Fern, it almost comes out as Leghorn the, the uh, rooster. <laughs> so. If anyone remembers that, you can put that in the comments. Okay, so we've had the, uh, a quick tour of the greenhouse. We've had the announcement of a new giveaway. We've had the um, repotting of the fern. We've had the repotting of a couple of andas. So we've just touched all over you know, today. So remember, to enter the contest, and as in the past, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and then enter a comment. That's it, very simple. If you have not subscribed, please do. You know, that's how we all grow. That, that, that's how we get the channel to grow. That's how I know that you may like it because you may come back. And uh, if you do like the videos, give me a thumbs up. That way I know for sure that you enjoy what I'm doing. So I think that's it for today. And everyone, come back now.